The Duchess of Cambridge dazzled in a bottle green gown as she attended a glittering reception at Berlin's Clarchens Ball last to round off a whirlwind two days in Germany. Tonight's event in the German capital offers a chance for Kate and William to meet faces from the world of art, culture, style, fashion and technology before they back to the UK tomorrow afternoon, completing their five-day charm offensive in Germany and Poland. Opened in 1913. Clarchens is one of the last remaining old ballrooms in Berlin with tonight's star-studded reception being held in its opulent mirrored hall. Kate, 35, opted for a gown by German designer Marcus Lupfer paired with a silver chain belt, pearl bracelets and the same pair of nude Prada stilettos as she rubbed shoulders with stars including Sam Riley and Game of Thrones actor Thomas Laskaya. Earlier this afternoon, Prince William punched the air in delight as he secured an against-the-odds win in a boat race against his wife in the town of Heidelberg. Following their visit to a traditional German food market on Thursday morning, Kate made a quick change out of her custom Jenny Packham dress, slipping into a casual blue and white stripe top by Hugo Boss teamed with skinny jeans and her favorite Superga trainers. And William removed his jacket and put on a pair of blue trainers with a luminous yellow Nike swoop. Prior to their boat, race the couple enjoyed a tour of a traditional market where they were able to make some sugary treats for their children. William and Kate had a go at trolling and cutting some handmade traditional sweets and took them away to give to George, 3, and Charlotte, 2, when they see them at the family's temporary base in Berlin this evening. The children will love these later, William, 35, said. But when he was presented with another treat for them a moment later, he laughed and sighed and said, George's sugar load is going to be over the top of the scale. The royal couple had a go at making sweets with Jens Meyer, owner of Heidelberger Bonbon Manufacture, and his assistant Melanie Melchier. While William was certainly enthusiastic, he wasn't quite as technically proficient as his wife. Yours is better than mine, he said, laughing, to Kate, who picked it up slightly more quickly after admiring Melanie's technique and telling her, you're making it look so easy. Asked how they had done, Melanie said, not too bad. It's always hard when you get it for the first time. You have to be quick. The royal couple walked around the market square inches the center of the university town of Heidelberg, where a special market had been set up to mark their visit and celebrate the close ties between the town and Cambridge in the UK. William and Kate also tried their hand at making a tasty treat popular in Germany, pretzels. They were given a lesson by Heidelberg baker Andreas Gobes, who showed them how to roll out the pastry into long sausage shapes and then flick and cross them over in one movement to create the snack's classic shape. Kate managed to get it right first time but William struggled to get the hang of the flick and cross over. Can you do that again? He asked Mr. Gobes, but after a further demonstration, the future king still seemed unsure. Just like that he said, sarcastically. But after two or three more tries, he managed it. Mr. Gobes, part of a guild whose members put on the pastry display, said, Catherine was a little bit more talented than William but they both did a great job. This type of pretzel is a speciality for the region so we wanted to show them that. In this region it has a special shape, thin arms and a thick body, with salt and it's a red-brown color. Located on the riverside and overlooked by the ruins of its famous castle, the Central Market Square boasts a traditional market serving local food and drink. On their gastronomical tour, the couple tasted Heidelberg herbal lemonade, tried some local fruit, and ordered a hot dog to try over lunch in the town hall. Is that hot dogs? William asked and when invited to try one, he said, why not? When told it was bratwurst, he added, we have to have bratwurst. In the square, kilted locals in a Scottish pipe band, the Heidelbergen district pipes and drums, had entertained the crowds before the royal party's arrival. William was reminded of the close cultural ties between the UK and this part of Germany when he met the mother of one of his work colleagues at East Anglian Air Ambulance. Tobias Gauss, 42, a doctor with the service in Cambridge, had warned William that he might see his mother, Alone Apple, 67, in Heidelberg so he knew who she was straight away. Tobias has told him three or four days ago that he might meet me here so he knew who I was, 
she said. Over the past few days she's proved herself a real pro at so-called diplomatic dressing and earlier today, the Duchess of Cambridge pulled it off again as she channeled the gold of the German flag for a visit to the German Cancer Research Center in Heidelberg. It was an overcast morning, but Kate brought a ray of sunshine to proceedings in the bespoke lace number by Jenny Packham, which she paired with her trusty new dispadrill wedges from Monsoon, and a small clutch in a matching shade. The visit was a chance for the couple to see the world-acclaimed work being carried out at the German Cancer Research Center, where hundreds of locals had turned out to greet the royal couple on the second day of their tour. Inside, British stem cell biologist Dr. Michael Milsom, 42, originally from Chesterfield, showed the couple around one of the laboratories. He said, it's really helpful to have a visit from the Duke and Duchess as they publicize the importance of work we do here. The UK and Germany are leaders in this field of stem cell research, said the expert who has been based in Heidelberg for seven years. He told William and Kate about the latest developments in stem cell research. The Leeds University graduate, told them how his team focuses on the question whether and how an accumulation of DNA damage in stem cells is the causes for aging of an organ system. Such damage may cause exhaustion of the stem cell pool and loss of the organ's capacity to regenerate. The work is particularly important in research into leukemia. The couple's five-day visit to Germany and Poland has so far been a roaring success, with throngs of royal fans lining the streets to greet them wherever they go. Kate has even been dubbed the new Princess of Hearts by the media, as royal fever sweeps the nation. German newspapers and TV gave blanket coverage to the The Duke and Duchess's three-day visit to the country which began yesterday, and has been nicknamed Die Charm Offensive. The Berliner Zeitung said pictures of the Duchess cuddling children during a visit to a children's charity in Berlin yesterday were reminiscent of the warmth of heart which before Kate only William's mother, Diana, could radiate. In a headline it said, Fur die kids ist see the princess in der Herzen meaning for the kids she is the princess of the heart. On a visit to the charity Strassen Kinder, which supports children from disadvantaged backgrounds, both William and Kate were mobbed by small children as they bestowed hugs and high fives to excitable fans. The Duchess was the center of attention, with several children throwing themselves into her arms for a cuddle.